I am a noble man of this great land. And I fully understand our customs and traditions very well. Seeing you people, I can see that all is set for the commencement of the ritual process that will make our crown prince, Prince Uzodima Anose, the king of our land. But my confusion and worry here is your presence here. Oh no, what brings you and the king's cabinet to my house? Okoro, son of late Ozalaribe, very great man of his time, a man known for truth, peace, and justice throughout the land of Obama in you. We we'll bring you greetings for the king's cabinet. Oh no. Cabinet members, I greet you. So what do I owe this August visit? An abomination has been committed in our great kingdom. Abomination, did you say? Who committed this abomination? And what has it got to do with me and my household? Okoro. You are all in law, Prince Suso the Man. The fire the commencement of the ritual process that will lead to his own coronation, his own coronation as the new king of this great kingdom, Obama Yubu. And he has the guts to look into our faces and told us that all we are doing is evil. And the ritual process that will lead to the coronation and even the tradition that makes us whom we are is devilish. Alo! Abomination! That is exactly what it is. Hmm! Okoro! You better talk to your daughter and her husband, Prince Uzodema, to do the right thing. Yes, they will be made to face the wrath of the land. I hope you know what will happen to you and your family in this type of situation. Okoro, do the need. Do not say you are not wrong. For a station time, saves nine. Uncle, he refused to open the door. He said he doesn't want to see or talk to anybody right now. You mean Uzodima said that to you? Yes, he did. Does he know the consequences that will follow such action of his? It is very obvious that he does what he is doing. So, what do we do next? I wish I knew what can be done. Uncle Udema. Oh. Are you saying there's nothing we can do? Huh? How could the prince behave this way? Huh? I am still as confused as you are. What, what is wrong with Prince Uzodima? Eh? Yeah. Huh. This is very strange, you. I still can't believe that Prince Uzo Dima will act this way. He only wants to put everyone around him into a very big trouble. A very big trouble, you said? How? If we fail to convince him, 
We might be as communicated from the land. You are joking, right? You mean a joke? Oh no, who and the entire king's cabinet wouldn't have been here to remind me of the consequences if we fail to convince our daughter to talk to him to change his mind and do the needful. If that sounds like a joke, is it a joke to you? Uh -uh. My husband, you are not supposed to be home by now. What happened? The worst has happened. How do you mean? Uh, uh, I mean, come out straight. Can you feel me? Could you believe that Prince Huzodima looked the king's council in the face and told them that he does not want to sit on the throne of our forefathers? My goodness. That the traditional rites and all the rituals associated with uh, 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 his ascension to the throne are filled with evil. Can you imagine that? This is serious, though. This is serious. It happened before my very eye. I wish there is something I could do to make him change his mind. My husband, you are not supposed to sound this way. How do you mean? The chief Udemba that I got married to is a man of many sides. He can even make impossibility to become possible. So please, my husband, do something. Don't just be silent. Do something. Save us this embarrassment. Please, I'm begging you. I want to talk to you about your actions towards the entire King's Cabinet members earlier today. There is nothing to talk about. I suggest you go to sleep. A man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Why have you decided to chase after rats? Even when your house is about to be consumed by the fire you created. What fire? Calling the custom and ritual process that saw your late father emerge as the king of Obama and your kingdom and refusing to take up your position as the next king of this land. It's enough fire to consume the entire royal family. Why are you doing this? Alright, it's very clear to me that there's so much about this land that you do not know. I don't want to go into that tonight. But I'll have you know that I cannot do what they've asked of me because I'm a Christian. You once believed in this tradition. You fought for it, even as a Christian. What happened? Why did you suddenly realize that you're a Christian? I was once blind. But now I can see. You call the custom and tradition of our land evil and blind? Your late father was a Christian and a knight of the Roman Catholic Church. Yet, he held up the custom and tradition of this land as a king. Why are you not following your late father's footprint? My father lived his life the way he wanted. I'm not going to make the same mistakes that my father made. Sweetheart, let me ask you, have you wondered why a 
crown prince of this land or anyone who is about to be crowned king would get on an ancient royal horse and go to a sacred place where a certain ritual that involves blood is performed. Have you wondered why? There's so much going on in this land that you do not know. We are Christians. We're not supposed to join them. No. We are supposed to do what the Lord says we should do. I hope you remember what the Bible says about idol worship. Mike, you mean Sonia, your wife, is gone? Like, you guys are not married again? Yeah, yes, yes. I begged her not to go, but she wouldn't listen to me. Did she give you any reason for quitting the marriage? No, she didn't. She just woke up one morning with one useless statement that I'm a ritualist and I want to use her for ritual. Ken, can you imagine that? What? Can you imagine? W where did she get that from? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think she just wants to go and enjoy her herself. She wants to continue that process. She's on lifestyle. Oh, this is serious. This is serious. <laughs> so, what, what, what are you going to do now? Nothing. I don't even have an intention of going after her for her to come back. No. She doesn't even have any reason to leave the marriage at all. I, I know she just wants to go and complete her prostitution lifestyle. This is serious. So, what are you going to do now? I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. In a week's time, I'll be leaving the country for Paris. I need to go and cool off from all this mess. Are you for real? Yes. When I return, I'll get myself a good woman. Oh. At this point, I'm speechless, bro. You have to be on. In a situation like this, is there no way out? Jugemba! When you have a you are the younger brother of our late king. And you are one of the highly respected chiefs in this kingdom. So I, I am surprised you are... You are the you know, traditional prime minister of our kingdom. Does it mean there is no way out of this situation? Uh, Chief Udemba, you see... I wish I'm in a position to tell you the good news you want to hear. Mm. But I tell you this. The king's cabinet will surely do what they are supposed to do. If you and your family fail to do the need Because a tree that does not know how to dance is taught how to do so by the wind. My prince, this your decision is very dangerous. It is capable of destroying all of us. No, my in-law, it will not destroy us. It will liberate us instead. Such devilish practices have kept us captive. Held us down for too many years, my in-law. Huh? It is time for us to stand up as a people and set ourselves free. Oh, my in-law, stop saying what you are saying. What am I saying? What am I saying? You know, it actually beats my imagination that a very good Christian like you would sit here trying very hard to convince me into being a part of that devilish practice. It's not right. No, 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 no. no. Our tradition is not devilish. You think so? No. This is a long, age-long tradition handed over to us by our forefathers. Even your old father, your late father, was a knight of the Catholic Church, and he did it. This is our tradition. 
our culture. And that is what makes us who we are. My Elo, let me ask you. Do you read the Bible? Yes. Good. You would agree with me that the same Bible that you and I read is against it. Why are you trying very hard to convince me into doing something that is against my Christian faith? Why? Father, if I am to say, I think my husband is right. Hmm? Why are we Christians if we cannot follow the teachings of God? Will you shut up your mouth? Mara, what is wrong with you? Eh? Have you forgotten that we, your parents, are the same people that introduced you to that same Christianity you are talking about? So why introduce me to it when you knew you were able to practice it? Tradition has nothing to do with Christianity. We cannot sacrifice our tradition on the altar of Christianity. Christianity is the culture of the white man. Well, my in-law, please, let's... We don't have all day here. Truth is that the both of you, with all due respect, have not made sense to me. So you all can go ahead and do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but since you cannot convince me otherwise, my decision stands. But father, he has made his choice. What do you mean? Well, the prince said he doesn't want to be the king. I don't know why you are still forcing him to do what he doesn't want to do. He knows what he wants. He's old enough to make his decisions, father. Ekele, are you sure you are the one talking? Or something is talking through you? I mean, it's a guy here. Obviously, Father, I'm the one talking. Nothing is talking through me. Then, if you are the one talking, it's obvious you do not understand what I have just said. Father, I understood you quite alright. But I still maintain that the Prince is old enough to make his decisions. He knows what he wants and no one should make him go against his will for no reason. I will. You've just returned from school. Eh? Go inside. Tell your mother to give you food so that you cool off your attention. You are not you are yourself. I'm running to a meeting. <laughs> Father, he knows what he wants. Mom? Nine. I still can't believe that Prince Zodema looked into our faces and said we make no sense. Hmm. What is wrong with that young man? What my, is wrong with him? My major problem is not the prince. My major problem is your daughter, Nora. She has taken sides with him. Nora. Yeah. So what do you want us to do now? What kind of stupid question is that? Who? Huh? Nan, you should be bothered about what will happen to us if Prince Zodima refuses to do what he's supposed to do as a prince. Oh. Tell Agnes, stop asking me stupid questions and think of how to talk some sense into your daughter. Eh? Let us see point from our own point of view. Otherwise, we will not be able to convince the prince. You know, here and I don't do Nan, Nan, this is getting too much of you. It's getting too much of you. Which one is every time? Uh, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter. Is she not also your daughter? Yeah, what is all this? Agnes, we eh? don't have time. Convince your daughter. Otherwise. Otherwise. Is she not also your daughter? I otherwise, what will happen? Okay. Every time your daughter, your daughter, your daughter. Huh? Tradition is tradition. All the about you. If a chimalan, if you look, men are men, 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 
we are still talking about this uncle if i had known that this is the reason you assembled all of us here i would not have honored this meeting honestly i would not have uncle look enough is enough oh yes enough is enough i'm a man i have rights to my choices i have made a choice a choice not to be your king leave me alone Come back here. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? You talk to me in that good manner and stay trying to walk out of me? I will at the back of your mind, Uncle. That I have made my decision and it's final. Nothing will make me become a member of your cult. Nothing will make me soil my hand with such devilish practice. It will not happen. Will you stop that madness, Prince Zodima? Stop that madness and stop referring to our tradition as devilish. Onyeka, keep quiet and let me educate you. What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Just so that you have a few things to say in this meeting. What do you know? Huh? I ask you, Onyeka Chuku, what do you know? How do you describe? tradition that requires that you soil your hands with blood all in the name of performing a ritual that enables you to become king I'm a Christian my Bible preaches against it my faith stands against it I will not do it and that is final who did this to you? Were they a melody? Nobody. I wish Father we are alive to see what you've become. You are a crown prince for goodness sake. Who's that? Yes. Just get set. Get ready for the rituals. Right. I'm not even moved. I will not. Be a part of this devilish practice, and that is final. Go out there, find yourself another king, not me. Really? We are still talking about this. Uncle, if I had known that this is the reason you assembled all of us here, I would not have honored this meeting. Honestly, I would not have. Uncle, look, enough is enough. Oh, yes, enough is enough. I'm a man. I have rights to my choices. I have made a choice, a choice not to be your king. Leave me alone. Come back here. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? You talk to me in that good manner and stay trying to walk out of me? I will at the back of your mind, Uncle. That I have made my decision and it's final. Nothing will make me become a member of your cult. Nothing will make me soil my hand with such devilish practice. It will not happen. Will you stop that madness, Prince Zodima? Stop that madness and stop referring to our tradition as devilish. Onyeka, keep quiet and let me educate you. What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Just so that you have a few things to say in this meeting. What do you know? Huh? I ask you, Onyeka Chuku, what do you know? How do you describe? tradition that requires that you soil your hands with blood all in the name of performing a ritual that enables you to become king I'm a Christian my 
Bible preaches against it. My faith stands against it. I will not do it. And that is final. Who did this to you? What did you you? Nobody. I wish, Father, we are alive to see what you've become. You are a crown prince for goodness sake. Who's that Yes. Just get set. Get ready for the rituals. Right. I'm not even moved. I will not be a part of this devilish practice and that is final. Go out there, find yourself another king, not me. My prince, what brings you to my humble abode? Problem. Problems, you said. What is the matter? Friends, so Zodema, the crowned prince, has decided to bring disgrace upon the royal family. <laughs> my prince, I don't understand what you're saying. What exactly are you trying to say? Prince Zodema has refused to perform the sacred ritual but that will lead to his coronation and see him become the next king of our land. Hmm. My prince, I hope you know the gravity of what you just said. I have no reason whatsoever to lie against Prince Ozodima. He said he's a Christian and he's not ready to soil his hands with the devilish act of performing the sacred ritual. May the gods forbid. He called it a devilish act. What is wrong with him? I am not here to find out what is wrong with him or not. I am here for you to consult the gods to find out if I, Prince Onyeka, can become the next king of our land. Onyeka, what is the meaning of what you did yesterday? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Onyeka, I have it on good authority that you went to D.K. Oha's house yesterday. Asked him to consult the gods to see if you can become the next king of this kingdom. Deny that you were not at his place yesterday. And why will I deny the truth? Why? I want to know. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why have you chosen to abandon everything that you have and get yourself involved in this evil act? Why? Stop calling out tradition. Evil. It is what it is, Onyeka. It is what it is, Onyeka Chuku. It is mind-boggling to think that a man like you, with all of your education and everything that you have, have chosen to put all of that aside and get involved. In this evil, your people call tradition. One day, this is not you. I know you. You are under an influence. Who is this man that has brainwashed you? No one has brainwashed me. Rather, you are the one that has been brainwashed by believing in the religion of the white men that has come to destroy us. Watch what you say to me. Why do you believe that a tradition is evil? The white men came here and told you that our culture and traditions are very bad. You believed them. 
They brought Christianity and said that is the way to go. She believed them. Yet, the same people who brought Christianity divided us. They made us fight one another. They made us hate each other. They made our forefathers sell our brothers and sisters into slavery to suffer and die. Friends, Ozodima, Christianity is the white man's way of life. We have our way of life and we must protect it. Tradition is tradition for the Nanabanyo. I still wonder if I actually fathered you, Nora. Father, I don't understand. If I am actually your father, you would listen to me and not whatever your husband, the prince, must have said to you to brainwash you. Father, he has not said anything to brainwash me. So, what did he do to you? that made you forget your background, our tradition, and who you are, Nora. We told you respect, Father. Let's call a spade a spade and not a walking tool. Truth is, there is something wrong with our tradition, which is very bad. May the ghost twist your mouth to the back for vomiting that rubbish before me. In fact, I cannot sit down here and allow you to vomit such abomination before me. Chief Udema, thank you so much for the cola and the drink. Please, can you tell us the reason you call us for this very meeting? <sighs> None. Um, I know the reason I called this meeting might not sound so right in your ears, but I want you people to think deeply about it. Oh, Chief Udemba, tell us your mind. Hmm? Go ahead and let the cat out of the car. Yes. Um, let me go straight to the point. I want to be the next king of Obama in your kingdom. And I need your support. You're joking, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I expected this reaction from you people. Oh, yes. But... Let me tell you the truth. I am damn serious about <laughs> it. Chief Udemba, you know too well that it's not possible. You are my very good friend. And I will tell you the bitter truth. What you are asking for is impossible. What is impossible about this? When the crown prince told us clearly that he is not interested in the throne, will Obama and your kingdom stay without a king? I'm asking you people. Uh, Chief Udeba, remember Prince Onyeka is still alive. <laughs> prince Onyeka is not done yet with his education. Eh? He cannot abandon his good life overseas and his education to come here to become your king. Oh. Mm, Chief Udemba, I don't think this is going to be a very simple task to carry out. Mm. Leave that for me. Just to go home. Think about it. All I need is your support. That's all.
my daughter. You need to calm down. Okay? Father is really taking this whole thing too far. <laughs> you know, desperate situation, they say, requires desperate measures. What do you mean? <laughs> you see, this whole thing is not as simple as you people think. Now tell me, how can a crown prince of this land wake up and decide not to take the kingship of this land? Is that possible? Mother, he gave them his reasons. He said that... Don't tell me that abomination, my daughter. All you need to do is to talk to your husband for him to do the needful. Yes. Mother, he has made his decision. And I am with him. Eh? When his decision is about to put all of us and everyone around us into a very big trouble. How? Is that what you mean? How? My daughter, let me tell you something. We might be excommunicated or banished from this kingdom if care is not taken. Are you serious? Yes. Ono and the king's cabinet. They informed us, they reminded us of that the last time they came. My prince, I am totally in support of your actions. Are you sure? Are you sure of what you just said? Yes. You don't believe me? But not that I don't believe you. I just wasn't expecting this to come from you. How about your father, Ikene? Does your father know of your stand on this? Well, not really. But believe me when I say that. I am solidly behind you. I mean, I will go extra miles to support you on this. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for the vote of confidence and support. I really appreciate it. And I assure you that we we're going to fight these people to a standstill and get the desired change that we seek. Thank you, again. I appreciate that. Who on earth could have believed that Chief Udemba of all people will have interest on the truth. Uh -huh. Honestly speaking, I was very shocked when he made his intention known. You see, that is why they say, trust no one. Now, what do you think we should do? What kind of question is that? Huh? You know that what he wanted from us was for us to give him our full support. And that's all. Hmm. Now, if we will give him our full support, like you said, will the other elders and the no do the same? Look, we have to do what is expected of us first. Don't forget, he has already committed us with his money. Agreed. Okay. He gave us the money. Mm -hmm. But when he gave us the money, he did not say or make it clear to us that the money was for us to support him. Rather, he kept on saying, Go home and think about it. Go home and think about it. Chief Udemba that you and I know cannot just give us a hundred thousand naira each for nothing. Then ask us to go home and think through it with his money in our pockets. Does that not send a strong message to you? I think you, you are very correct. Oh. Uh, but all the same, 
Let us go home and think about it. Like he said. Mm. That's all. That's so, it. you know, when you're dealing with somebody like Chifu Demba, you have to be very careful. I'm in support. Mm -hmm. I, I you agree have to be very you. careful. You are very correct. I agree with you. But my husband told me that the process involves shedding of blood and some sacrifices in some secret places. Is it a bad thing for someone to go to the gods with a gift of cow or a goat, which he may end up killing to them, to thank them for the things they did for him, or even pray to them? Mm. I quite may not support that entirely. But I don't think it was the blood of an animal that my husband meant when he told me that the process involves shedding of blood. I am from this land. And as a matter of fact, I am a prince. The ritual process that leads to the coronation of a king in this land does not involve the shedding of human blood. Are you serious? I mean, are you telling me the truth? And I have no reason whatsoever to lie to you. The process is a sacred process that helps us not to choose an evil one to be the crown king or someone who has shedded an innocent blood wrongly. Same person has to make a huge prayers and promises to the gods to enrich him with wisdom, truthfulness, and knowledge to lead our people. No evil person will pass through that process and come out alive. Interesting. The only thing that could make your husband act the way he's acting is only if he has a skeleton in his cupboard. If not, tell him to do the need for. Is that? I mean, are you hiding anything from me? I'm not hiding anything from you or anyone. So why are you kicking against the ritual process that leads to your coronation as the king of this land? Why? So you want me to get involved in evil all in the name of becoming king? There is nothing evil about it. Rather, the process helps to ensure that no evil man is crowned king in this land. I was also made to understand that there is nothing about human bloodshed in the process. Nora, who have you been talking to? My husband. Why are you not doing what is expected of you? Why? Why are you discrediting the noble process of this coronation? Confusing, Pastor. Confusing? How? Pressure. 
so much shall these people me into idol worshiping they are trying very hard to get me to do that which is a sin before God you see uh, it is not enough to say it you have to stand your ground as a child of God a true Christian and resist in totality whatever that will make you go contrary to your faith and to the teachings of the church. I know who I am, Pastor. I know who I am. I'm a child of God. And no one will get me to do wrong against my Creator. God. The maker of heaven and earth. May God straighten you. Amen. Thank you. 